Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be jumping into the Bitcoin chart here and going over some very important support and resistance levels to be aware of of the week to come. Obviously starting today the 14th of September. Happy Monday to you all and let's jump into this charts. So picking up where I left off yesterday's video, and that is talking about, uh, you know, the resistances that we ran into, the supports that we dropped down to, that 10,200. We will cover that in a second. And then what we are seeing here locally, some really nice Fibonacci. <laughs> uh, so what we have going on here, first of all, is this really nice channel. This is a channel that I have had on my charts for a little while now. And I want to refer you to a post that I've made because, madre mia, <laughs> it's really, really nice. Let me just enlarge this channel and this is the original post uh, which I'm going to click on now and this was a post saying if we can clear the middle of the channel then I would look for the top next really simply that was on the ninth at um, quarter four if we zoom in on this we can see how it, this is the exact same channel that we have on here and from this channel really really simply um, we're, we're sort of stating if this happens then I'm looking for this it's never 100 percent it's like if this happens I look for this if this happens I look for this okay so you have a bullish and a bearish scenario my thought process at the time was if we can clear the middle of the channel then I will look for the top of the channel obviously I was in the long still from 10,200 um so you can see here how you know the middle of the channel resistance 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 you obviously flip the middle of the channel and really 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 nicely you obviously flip the middle of the channel you got the move up once more you then back test the middle of the channel just so perfectly before the rise to almost the top of the channel there and this is where I was putting yesterday like <laughs> you know that's pretty amazing uh obviously from that we can see well just so 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 perfect indeed let's flip over to this channel you can now see once again how that yesterday was literally the top of the channel so you can see how this has guided many trades it's guided the trade from if we flip the middle we're looking to the top it's then flipping the middle looking to the top and then once you hit the top of that channel you obviously got your trend change and you're coming down to that really important support of 10,200 this has obviously been a level <laughs> that we have been very much aware of Obviously, this is yesterday's video being the 13th. Um, you know, it was that 10,200 level is one that we've been looking at for a while now. And just amazing. Yesterday, you back tested it again to basically the dollar. I mean, that is just that is just so perfect. So, 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 so perfect. Um, <laughs> so, you know, if anybody ever says technical analysis doesn't work, Tell them to watch that video where we were recognizing 10,200 and then the results of that today uh, where you literally hit it to the dollar and you had that bounce of, you know, two, nearly two and a half percent. Really, really big bounce. On top of that, what you had going on yesterday was uh, the, the funding rates. So this is a funding rates that, you know, this occurs on Bybit, Binance Futures, uh, BitMEX. All of the funding rates were very negative. And this is a bullish funding rate. Basically, it means that shorts are going to be paying longs and this is quite a high um, negative funding rate so this is a bullish funding rate where you've got to be looking <laughs> well, i was anyway looking for a nice sh nice short squeeze this was obviously yesterday around nine o'clock from that you did ultimately get a move up okay it's not been the strongest in the world as you can see originally the middle of the channel there support support back into resistance back into support move up to around ten thousand four hundred and sixty dollars Okay, so that is once again the middle of the channel being very well respected, holding a support, strong move to the upside. Bit of a short squeeze, which I want to move over to this chart a second, where I have all the Fibonacci levels laid out. So this is over on Bybit. As you can see what you got going on here, this is the CC Champions channel. Just lovely. From the high to the low, you obviously went into the CC. Let's zoom into a lower term time frame. Went into the CC. Then from there, you can even come down again. And what you can see here is really nice that uh, when you obviously were up at the top of that channel, you went from high to low back into the CC once again. And then what you done this morning was from the high to the low, going into the CC once again with also this sort of SR support back into resistance. And you've obviously fell down, you know, pr pretty, pretty heavily here off that CC. So you can just see it once. Well, on obviously on the bigger one to the smaller one to the medium term time frame. So across all time frames there, it's, it's working like it, like it normally does, to be honest, a bit of magic. Um, so that kind of brings you on to now where we can identify some very important support and resistance levels. Well, my important support level is still for you all 10,200, exactly the same as it was yesterday. Still important support 10,200. Obviously, since that, we have bounced off of it pretty perfectly to give us that rise to the upside. Okay, then lo more locally here, 
uh, what we have is a local resistance 10360. And this is this is lovely, by the way. This is this is pretty lovely. Uh, I was telling looking for looking for 10360, and I will share this with you. Um we have a really big sell wall going on at 10360 at the moment. Um, so as you can see, really aggressive selling still at the lows. And look at this. This is what we talk about, like to the dollar kind of moves. So as you can see, as you saw the support, support. This is when you then start to get the bounce off the middle of the channel. You're coming up to the, you know, several resistances up at those highs. And you obviously are expecting a pullback off of these levels. It's not, you don't just go through CC resistance. You don't expect pullbacks off those levels. Uh, you obviously get the pullback back to the daily open. And again, just look how precise this is. This is, this is a, like a template. So this is not made up levels. This is just so precise. So you're seeing bounces, bounces, okay, coming up to confluences. Then when, as you're coming, pulling back here, look where you pull back to. Daily open to basically the, the dollar. So that's your daily weekly open today. Bouncing off of that to the dollar and then changing this old support support back into resistance at that 10,360 level to the dollar. So you, you can just see how precise, it's just so precise and so wonderfully technical. Okay, so I can say at the moment, I see the cell walls. I can see why we're bouncing off these levels. Look at the look at the confluences. Okay, there's just a lot of confluence there to get a local rejection. So the way I'm kind of building up a case here is, okay, I'm taking, you know, I'm taking a few different blocks together, two different, te few different technical tools, and I'm building up a case. I'm building up a case of bullish factors and bearish factors and then i have to come to a conclusion which is tradable of okay if this happens then i'm going to do this if this happens then i'm going to do this just as, as i was saying before if we can clear the middle of the channel i look for the top of the channel we clear the middle of the channel we get to the top of the channel now i'm saying if we can clear the local resistances here uh, then really i'm going to be looking up to around 10 400 again uh if we cannot clear this well looking down to around 10 to 80 the middle of the channel once more to be honest um i must say uh this for me is all still part of wave four as you know this is what i've been predicting was all part of a wave four choppy wave four and what do i was saying here people lose money trading these ranges because they are really 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 choppy there it's not an easy range to trade um you know so unless you are very much on the ball it's very easy to get chopped up here and that is characteristical is that a word this is very characteristical that doesn't sound right very characteristic <laughs> of a wave four so this is really perfect at the moment it is so choppy uh which is obviously good you know it has its pros and cons this is what was expected we are going in our sideways wave four so i must say my higher term time frame like very high term time frame swing trade perspective is still that we're in wave four looking for the wave five but on a shorter term time frame I have now got my local support and resistance levels where we can actually envision a smaller range between the daily open and this point of control. So we have got here like going on what like a uh you know about a uh, what is this thirty dollar range? Okay, so we've got a smaller range going on here, and then if we start to break down from daily open, well that's when we really look towards the ten to eighty. If we break the point of control there, I think you're looking up to around ten um ten four hundred basically as my next you know levels that i'd be day trading from um i must say yeah higher term time frame i'm still looking at the way for locally i would actually enjoy more a short squeeze to continue upwards here so i am must have say my 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 feeling at the moment is is bullish uh but i must see that resistance claimed i must see that claimed if we cannot claim that then you know, I feel bullish, but I'm not going to act on it. Okay, that's really, really simple. I need to see that claimed. If I can't see that claim, well, you know, price is going lower. It's as simple as that. That for me is such a big level. Um, so yeah, I have I have great importance on that level, basically. Um, so yeah, that is the analysis of today. I think that you should have, I really think you should have enjoyed this one, let's be honest, because I've taught you through some brilliant technicals here. Absolutely brilliant. The way that we have predicted and seen these ranges before they're formed, the way that we have seen and predicted those supports before they have formed, and then to see them act literally to the dollar support, that is just incredible and it just shows you it really shows you the way technical analysis is working in this market oh so perfectly it makes me very happy it does um i will end by saying a little bit of a, a promotion that if you would like these real-time updates so if you want the updates of the rangers um you know what i'm looking for how i'm looking to trade them um then obviously champions group is for you and on wednesday 
I'm going to be doing a contenders live stream, which is going to be sharing this template. This is obviously my day trading template, sharing this template, explaining how I use it in detail. Uh, so it's going to be an educational stream, basically, how to use this template, how I use it for trading and, you know, really to make it actionable. And you can see here just just from today how how utterly brilliant it really is. Um, so, yeah. I will end by saying that if you would like the updates of how I'm trading, the levels I'm looking for, uh, and really that educational content that you can get off of this, uh, then on, on Wednesday, I'll be hosting that stream. So um, yeah, apart from that, I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this video, talking through those levels, showing you the brilliance once again of Fibonacci. Wow, that CC is just, just perfect. <laughs> so you know the support and resistances. Hope you have a good day trading and have a good one, everybody. Cheers. Thank you. And goodbye.